Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, for the 1st of August. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Capricorn, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading gave you some clarity, all right? That's how I keep up with y'all. As well, Capricorn, when you are consuming tarot readings today, be sure to consume more than just your sun sign, your one zodiac sign, all right? Consume your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus. Capricorn, that's how you make the most of these tarot readings on YouTube. All right, and so today, Capricorn, we're going to get into three rows for you. Your first First row, we're going to be talking about your financial and career situation. Your second row, Capricorn, we're going to be talking about your social life. This could be family, platonic, romantic, someone in the workplace, an ex-darling, all right? It's going to be very individualistic, of course, for all of you Capricorns. And then in the third row is my personal favorite, Capricorn, which is where we get into your predictions. This is the row where you're going to have a much clearer understanding of where spirit is trying to take you. I always kind of call it like your blueprint. All right, to be included into your blueprint. But um, let's get into this tarot reading here today, Capricorn. All right. Uh, if you do want to support this tarot channel, all right, the best way to do it is just by giving this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, Capricorn, and I really appreciate it. All right. Because I know you don't have to do that extra step. So I appreciate those that do that extra effort. It means a lot. So let's start your energy here, Capricorn. The major arcana for this week for you is the Wheel of Fortune. All right, here, Capricorn. All right. Times are changing. Very fitting for you here, Capricorn for the coming into august all right the wheel of fortune is starting to turn into your favor now i always say the wheel of fortune people like to just like focus in on just like oh it says fortune uh right so that just means like fabulousness it's just like you know pot of gold is just gonna land right next to us honey just including the leprechaun right it's not always the reality it's not always the case capricorn all right sometimes it's like um things going against you so capricorn i feel like you guys have been dealing with like a lot of resistances streak of bad luck right i get like the sense some of you guys were like driving like you just received bad news or you just like a bunch of upset happened in the workplace or something and then on your way home you ended up getting a ticket from a cop <laughs> a driving ticket because you're speeding or something right i feel like you guys have just been dealing with a series of unfortunate events but what makes me really happy about this here capricorn because while yes all that happened darling wheel of fortune is now starting to turn in your favor you know to have this blessing your month of august is really powerful because this is letting you know capricorn of where now it's your turn to reap into the reap into the fortunes here in regards to your career how you would associate the wheel of fortune is that for many of you guys maybe you've been trying to pick up shifts or trying to get enough hours all right i see that actually happening for you i see for many of you guys as well capricorn what has been holding you back whether that's been an internal insecurity all right or just life hasn't been setting up in such a way where you've been able to make more time for certain things that's going to be clearing up like i just feel as if for you capricorn this is going to be a really abundant month for you all right just in general to have this wheel of fortune for your like it just is really powerful here all right things are changing as well i want to be saying for some of you capricorns that are in the work environment if something is toxic there all right something that might be like a deal breaker for you don't worry capricorn is going to be taking care of itself all right something that's been having you be like oh man i don't want to have to like you know it's something that's really been giving you a lot of stress in a social life type of dynamic here all right you could see this in one way capricorn of where it's like an ex is coming back or trying to make an appearance back into your life here um from a romantic sense or someone that you haven't been talking to in some time uh capricorn i feel like that is someone that is trying to close off the distance here almost like this sense of being like all right capricorn we've invested too much in one another here all right we can't just throw in the towel all right but overall i just want to be saying capricorn just like things are really like life is magical your life in specific is magical here and just like how you will have those times where it's just like you go to the grocery store because you just want to pick up one thing and that one thing wasn't at the grocery grocery store all right and then on the way to your car you stepped in some dog shit right and then on the way home while you're wiping off that dog shit at the red light and then you actually push like hit the gas pedal and then uh, gave the uh hit the car in front of you like bumper to bumper right you know that series like how it, that type of energy that you've been experiencing it can happen in the reverse for you and it's going to be happening in the reverse for you and so it's just like just like that series of unfortunate events it's going to be a series of beautiful blessings all right at least that's how i see this as personally virgo why am i calling you virgo personally capricorn all right i usually say this until the end but i feel inspired to do an oracle card before we really tap into this beautiful energy that you have going on here 
<laughs> beautiful very fitting capricorn all right um i'm glad i did you guys have overflow overwhelm and over and plenty i was gonna say over uh, overwhelm and over plenty all right this is literally the epitome of having more than enough capricorn so if you were if the, up until this point capricorn you're just like oh yeah velka you're lying you just you just gassing us up you're just saying a bunch of positive things just to say it darling okay you can even check check the facts honey all right i usually uh, you check tauruses and check for virgos i pull these at the last so like for me to intuitively feel this fabulous all right let's get into your career now <laughs> uh the archangels that are stepping forward in regards to your career situation as well as just your leadership role helping you take that leadership role seems to be archangel haniel as well as archangel Jophiel. all right virgo so i never tell people what they need to be practicing what they believe in but i'm just simply a messenger if you open to connecting with archangels those archangels are the ones to help you assist you when it comes to your financial and career endeavors here starting out your energy here we have the queen of air also known as the queen of swords virgo objective decision making clearing away all that no longer serves you anymore and seeing the humanist situation here all right the queen of swords is someone that um and most artworks of it all right it always usually will depict someone where it's just like their hands are just like i don't know why i just randomly contorted i'm looking like a claw machine anyways it's like someone's waiting for a handout or a payout right where it's like almost as if like before the queen of swords puts her sword down sword down she has to wait on the other side to receive that offering to be like all right like what do you have for me for me to be, take see this as a signal to be like all right i can put down my guard i can accept you right because i do see with the, the high priestess energy here archangel haniel coming in here the high priestess is a very protective energy here listen to your intuition have patience and consider carefully what it is that you want before taking action here all right capricorn so what i do see happening for you capricorn is like when it comes to your career you guys are going uh going to be in the seat of like uh, start asking the question being like what can you provide for me when you go into the uh when you go in for an uh, interview capricorn i know this may sound like very counterproductive for you but it's just like especially for those that have been trying to have a job here but i feel as if capricorn like because you have to play like poker a little bit and i have never played poker this is what's just coming to me intuitively here capricorn but just like play poker gamble a little bit with this in the sense of where you've been you really need a job right now but this is the time when you go into that interview you need to make this the person that's interviewing you make it so like they have to earn you that they have to put in the work like what do they have to offer you so that they are blessed with you working for them all right the ego card coming in here archangel jophiel a false sense of entrapment coming in for you being overtly focused on the material things negative or fear-based thoughts here right this is really identifying the sense of where it's like virgo this is the time for you to, why am i calling i'm calling you every single earth sign besides capricorn right now i apologize sometimes i'm just human all right so you have to forgive my human mistakes all right but what i want to be saying for you capricorn which is literally your energy here because this is the devil him the normal tarot which is you know so that's your that's literally your energy here all right capricorn what i want to be saying for you is the sense of like when it comes to your career when it comes to just success in that uh way you need to be more expectant of it you need to instead of you know it's like the law of assumption or just this sense for you uh capricorn of where you want people to show to you that they understand your value all right and before and before you start showing your cards to them before you start helping people out before you start providing a service to them have them show their hand all right that's what i see here all right by you take by the capricorns that take the gamble and being like uh giving them a counter offer being like no i want to be paid this much more all right that's the benefit here get comfortable capricorn get really comfortable with um calling the shot a little bit more all right exude a little bit more of a godfather energy again i've never even watched the godfather but i feel like it's just i'm making all these references as if i personally know them and i don't your social life here now capricorn all right seven of earth seven of pentacles seeds well planted on temporary pause in action unnecessary worry coming in here all right i do see this sense here capricorn it's like someone has this desire and wanting to reach out to you here all right i feel like there's someone that's been like a sense of a pride issue and it might be on you on both sides here capricorn but i feel like pride seems to be the thing here where it's just like someone wants to reach out someone wants to communicate someone wants to do something towards the other person 
but then there's like this sense of pride there's this resistance here archangel michael the emperor card coming in here organization and logic structure and discipline and leadership i'm going to be honest here capricorn i feel like someone wants you to chase them and that's what i feel for you capricorn it's like someone wants you to chase them and it's like when they start running away and they start looking back at me like oh is capricorn uh, following me like they they were so disappointed in realizing that you're just sitting there nine of fire nine of wands where you're very much so it's just like you know what i'm gonna stand in my truth and whoever enjoys me standing in my truth or receives me standing in my truth in a positive way those are my people it's very much so the epitome for you capricorn where you're just like i don't chase darling i attract you know very much so it is what it is all right you probably have a i wanted to say capricorn i feel like you've upset a lot of people because of this energy that you exude a very much so i don't know if it's flippant but it's just like you just are not going to entertain Capricorn. You're like when you you like you see people trying to play games or play mind games with you like 10 steps ahead. And you're just like, you know what? I'm not even going to let you know that I see your games. I'm going to just take the high road. I'm going to just book it over here because I just don't have the time and energy to enable this and to engage with this here. All right. I do see this sense of where it's just like you're not falling for someone's games here. All right, because you know your truth here, or I'm hoping you do. All right, Capricorn, there seems to be this consistent theme here of where you need to be more guarded, more protective of just your own energy and wait until other people prove themselves to you rather than always constantly feeling like Capricorn that you have to prove yourself to other people or to make sure that your truth or your side is always heard. Start exuding this energy of being like, you know what? No, you have to earn my respect. You have to earn time to talk to me. All right. You have to earn the privilege of being able to hire me. All right. By owning more of that bossed up energy, the universe, the world, people are going to see that bossed up energy of you and treat you like a boss, treat you like the godfather that you are, Capricorn. And again, I've never watched the godfather, but I kind of understand it. It's like some old man sitting on some chair, kiss, kiss the ring, honey, right? I mean, that's about all I know. People are afraid of this old uh, Italian man or whatever. Anyways, I know some people might be bothered by that, but it's okay. I don't like old movies. You know, I don't like old movies. And it's not about me right now, Capricorn. It's about you. Let's get into your third row here. I don't need to defend myself. All right, four pentacles. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions and giving to those less fortunate, Capricorn. All right. I feel like this is a push for you. You know, the four pentacles can be seen, Capricorn, in a way where it's just like either piss or get off the pot. All right. I feel like it's really time for you, Capricorn, of actually starting to take action rather than waiting for the perfect moment. You know, I'm going to use like a cryptocurrency as an example or like stocks. It's like you're waiting. You want you have all this money here. You have all this storage here to like invest. Right. You have like ten thousand uh, dollars, Capricorn, to invest. But you want you don't want to invest until like a certain stock or a certain uh, crypto hits a certain amount. Then you will invest. But it's like, that's the biggest mistake that you could be doing for yourself here, Capricorn. All right. Because I see you could, I just see the sense of where it's like, you're waiting for this time for it to drop at a certain point. And it's like, if you were to have just invested your money by now, you would have tripled it. All right. Ten of air, ten of swords coming in here. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change, Capricorn, and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Very aligned with, as I was saying at the beginning of this reading, when we pulled that Wheel of Fortune for you. Remember this card, Capricorn? Yes, darling, some of y'all going to need to watch this uh, uh, video a couple times, darling, because we unpacked a lot here. Honestly, Capricorn, real talk, if you made it through all the way up until this point of this video, darling, all right, I will just tell y'all, y'all have a lot of like channeled messages coming in here. Like there's even like bits and uh, parts of the reading where I'm just like so much I'm trying to just like word vomit out. So I do apologize if I sounded incohesive at any time, because it's just like there's just a lot that I wanted to like express with y'all and really reach to certain Capricorns, all right? But I really feel like the sense Capricorn is just like at this point in time, there's like a fine line Capricorn of being responsible, of not taking risks. You know, there's a time and a place where that's a positive. I'm trying to like get this so it's not showing a glare. There's a time and a place to have that type of energy, Capricorn, but now is not that time. Now is for you to be a little bit more bold. Now is the time for you to start taking action because you could have taken yourself out of your place. I see you being able to have the power at any point in time just by making the decision and no longer holding up on stock, waiting for a specific point in time, waiting for a certain experience before you start taking action. 
you could have been 20 steps ahead of by now. All right. Because you have the eight of air, darling, the eight of air, the eight girl <laughs> Capricorn. I can't hold this. My goodness. There Capricorn, this eight of swords here. Some of y'all don't want to hear this message. The illusion, uh, illusion of being trapped. All right. It's a lack of self-confidence, afraid of taking action. It's the thoughts. It's your personal thoughts. You're getting in your own head. You're getting in your own way, Capricorn, by you finally realizing that you are getting in your own way beside, because you are constantly telling yourself that you are the bad guy. Because I feel like that's what's happening for some of you, Capricorns. Like you're just so used to taking the blame from other people that it's like second nature for you at this point where it's just like something happens like across the room, like you're out to eat, Capricorn. You're eating your food and someone drops a plate from across the restaurant and you're the first one to be like oh i'm sorry and it's just like capricorn like what what you like it's not your burden like you're just so used to taking on everyone else's burdens and i feel like it's now for you capricorn it's like you need to have this moment where it's just like wait a minute it's like you're saying it's like wait a damn minute you know this something ain't right here right so let's start getting your oracle cards here i want to recap in regards to your career and uh financial situation capricorn again like i just feel really this sense of like maybe some of you Capricorns are, are thinking about settling or maybe the sense of for you of where it's like, I just think more confidence is needed there. All right. I want to just like hand you guys a crown Capricorn. Like, I don't know. I just want you guys to demand more, be more demanding. All right. You have, <laughs> you have crown games, right? Use of power here. All right. Right. Use of power. What I want to be telling for you Capricorns is that you guys are just so used to being considered the bad guy and having to entertain or walk around eggshells, invisible eggshells of other people, because pe it's like the sense Capricorns, like you're always dealing with people that like you're having to walk around eggshells that other people are projecting onto you. Right. I feel as if you've never been able to just be your most authentic self or just be unapologetically yourself. I feel like you're just around. I mean, can I say it, Capricorn? Some of y'all are really around some extremely sensitive people. Like, I feel like you're always having to water yourself down around certain people. All right. And you guys just need to like get, you know, just like pick up that crown. It's just like, you know, just because someone finds you intimidating doesn't make you intimidating. It just means they're intimidated by you. All right. You're not a bitch. They're just sensitive. Mm-mm. All right. Uh, straddling worlds, wandering between. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> straddling worlds, wandering between realms here. Girl, I'm going to need a con. I'm going to need a clarification on this one. Which, what are we straddling, Capricorn? I'm going to even show y'all the artwork of this. Like, what are we straddling here? Straddling worlds, wandering between realms. I mean, I guess you would see this more so in a way where it's just like a spiritual significance here getting more because even with the high priestess energy the high priestess is uh known to be connected to both the spiritual world she has a hand in the spiritual world and she has a hand into the physical world all right she has her hand into the spiritual world and she also has her hands in the books all right so for many of you capricorns this might just be a sign that spirit yeah spirit okay yeah king of wands clarifying this Definitely the sense here of where it's like, I feel like for some of you Capricorns, um, part of the reason why you're experiencing this Wheel of Fortune energy is because someone on your spiritual team, I feel like it's someone that loves you. I'm hearing like, I love you. Like, I don't know, I love you message. Someone wants to say, I love you, Capricorn. So I'm taking this as like a past uh, relative ancestor or something. Like, I do feel like there's some more like physical feelings to this than just like the other, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> you know, just like spiritual energy is giving love here. All right. So it's almost as if someone um, from the other side that has passed on wants you to know Capricorn that they love you. And the, there's like a blessing that's going to be happening. Something's going to manifest this month that they, that's going to remind you of them. <clears throat> Some of you uh, Capricorns, you might associate Cardinals with them. And so when you receive good news, you might see a Cardinal shortly after or beforehand, and they want you to know that's them. I usually do not go into these type of mediumship messages. <laughs> All right. Dust devil moving out of stagnation. All right. Moving out of stagnation, dust devil. That's literally the embodiment of what we were just talking about this entire time here, Capricorn. So, I mean, I don't feel like we need to 
preach to the choir, darling, right? We don't need to preach to the choir here. You get the point. All right, Capricorn. So I love you so much. Hopefully this weekly tarot reading gave you some resonance today. If it did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn. Remember, if you want to book a private reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both just being Simply Velka. Same as here, darling. All right. Until next time, though, Capricorn, I just want to say thank you. I don't take your energy for granted, and I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I know I know there's a million tarot readers that you can, can get your tarot readings by, so I'm really grateful that you chose to stop by here and say hi. So bye, darling.